But this is this Australia's on the cutting edge of this technology right now with regards to not the um, AI and supercomputer stuff we're behind, more more the digital ID stuff because they're, they're not rolling really this out in in many places in the West right now, but they want to. Australia's one of the first, which means coming up with solutions to this is actually kind of on our community to work it out. We often have the benefit of being a lucky country and late to certain things like censorship, but it, this one is going to be where we're going to be a bit of a testing ground like with, with many other things. And, um, including the hacking? Including the hacking. Yep. Including hacking with like Optus and uh, Gladys, which, you know, her involvement there. Correlation. Correlation mm -hmm. doesn't mean causation, all right? Oh, Settle really? down, everyone. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying. Um, but we've got to keep in mind, going back to the article, this is going to be able to prove, help, help organizations prove, websites prove that you're over 18. Now, they want to, as I alluded to earlier in the UK, they want to start educating younger people because they recognize the internet is not work. It's it's not working to the government's advantage in uh, with TikTok, with a lot of these social media organizations. Kids are getting more conservative. Kids are voting. Nigel Farage, as we covered in the UK with the UK elections, Labor came first with those under 25. Then I do believe it was Reform UK after. Mm. And it's like, oh. What's that about? And, is they're only going to get more conservative? And look at that in Germany. Among, I think it's uh, people under the age of 21. The top polling party is AFD, Alternative for Deutschland. So, if you look at that, hang on a minute. This is a, this is the kids who got raised in the the Green Revolution and all the Marxist institutions, the Marxist teachers teaching them all of these self hatred things. And if you look at the Greens vote amongst that age group. It's actually low. It's it's the national average. It's no higher. So you go, well, hang on a minute. What's happening here? And it is because of the internet. It's because people are being exposed to uh, more information than they ever have before. If you look at these younger people, they are more willing to seek out and get all of the information before they make a decision. And that is a very, very powerful thing because then they get to have... Uh, a better understanding of how things really are. They're not as sheltered as previous generations. They make out mm. that they are, and they might be sheltered from going out in the real world, but in terms of being exposed to information, they, the younger generation is the most exposed to information out of any generation in human history. And, really? and, and, it's, and it's having the effect that no one really suspected it would. But they are also, yeah. um, they've been pushed so far to the left mm. from um, places like universities where, you know, they're indoctrinated with um, what pronoun are you and all the rest of it, that they're actually rebelling. I think that the pendulum is swinging back from that far left um, ideology that they're being taught. And obviously not in all of our universities, certain, I'm sure. And it'll take a very, very long time until it's where we would like it to be. But I do believe that the pendulum is swinging back because like mm. with anything, you force people into a corner and force them to do something like accept, um, you know, rainbows, LGBTQI and whatever, the alphabet soup, um, the pronouns and all the rest of it. Eventually, they're going to rebel against it, and I think. But this, sorry, sorry, but this is this is totally new. What's going on, and this is why I'm so passionate about this particular topic. What we're seeing is they previously had this market snookered. They previously had kids, both parents in you know working, and in in order to raise these kids, you'd had to give it to the state. These three kids, you give them to the state, and they'd come home and they'd want to chop their genitalia off, or they'd be spouting all this crap about LGBT or everything to do with regards to you know Aboriginal stuff. That's a false whitewashed history. And it's like, what the hell is this? Why does my kid want to be a communist? Okay, what's next? University. As soon as you know it, it's not your kid. They previously had this snooker. And what's That's really right. interesting about that is technology has been a 